Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be going over what you need to do if you forgot the passcode for your iPad or if you entered in the wrong passcode too many times and as a result, your iPad became disabled. Now we're going to need to erase your iPad, which deletes your data and settings, including the passcode. Now this isn't that big of a deal. If you've backed up your iPad to the iCloud, you can restore your data and settings after restoring your iPad. However, if you never backed up your iPad before forgetting your passcode, then you won't be able to save the data that is on your iPad. But this is still a better option to go through than not being able to use your iPad because you forgot that passcode. Now there's gonna be a couple of different ways to go about removing the passcode and it's gonna depend on if you have an iPad that has Face ID or if you have an iPad that has a physical home button such as this example. I'm gonna go over both ways. It's just gonna be a slightly different process and then after that, I'm gonna take you through how you go about restoring your settings. So if you have an iPad that has Face ID, step number one is to make sure that your iPad isn't connected to your computer. Step number two is gonna be press and hold the top button and either volume button until the power off slider appears. So that's gonna be holding this top button as well as either the volume up or the volume down button. So you're holding two of these buttons down at the same time, the top button and either volume button until that power off slider appears. At that point, drag the slider to turn off your iPad. Now at this point, you're going to want to connect your iPad to your computer with something like a USB cable, for instance, while holding the top button. So at this point, you hold that top button down you connect your iPad to your computer with something like a USB cable, and you're gonna keep holding the top button until you see the recovery mode screen. And then step number three is going to be if you had backed up your iPad, how to go about restoring your data and settings. And again, I'm gonna to touch on that after going through this second example. So if you have an iPad that has a physical home button, for instance, step number one is the same, where you're gonna make sure that your iPad isn't connected to your computer. Then step number two is going to be press and hold the top button until the power off slider appears. So holding that top button until that power off slider appears, you're gonna drag the slider to turn off your iPad. Then connect your iPad to your computer while holding the home button, that physical home button down here on the iPad screen. Again, connecting your iPad to your computer, and this is gonna be with something like a USB cable while holding the home button down and keep holding that home button until you see the recovery mode screen. So a pretty similar process, just a little bit different because you have that home button to hold down in this second example. Now at this point, to restore your iPad, you're gonna locate your iPad on your computer and we're gonna be doing this either through the Finder or through iTunes. So if you're using the Finder, your devices are going to appear in the sidebar of the Finder. That's gonna look something like this. And then in iTunes, make sure that you have the latest version of iTunes and then your devices will show up in the upper left corner of the iTunes window. That's gonna look something like this and you can select that little device icon and you should be able to find your iPad in this area. When you see the option to restore or update, you want to choose restore. Again, if you have backed up your iPad to the iCloud, we're gonna be looking to restore it. The Finder or iTunes will download software for your iPad. If it takes more than 15 minutes, your iPad will exit recovery mode and you'll need to repeat the prior steps above to go through and remove your passcode again. But this probably isn't gonna be the issue that you run into. You're probably gonna be going down to step two. After that point in time, you're gonna wait for this process to finish where it downloads the software for your iPad. Then you can set up and use your iPad at that point in time. So I hope this video was helpful walking you through the steps on how you go about removing the passcode on your iPad if you have either forgotten your passcode or if your iPad became disabled because you failed to enter in the passcode too many times, what you can do to remove that passcode and then restore things back to how they were if you've had things backed up into the iCloud. So that's gonna wrap this one up and I'll catch you back here next time.